Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Khorasan, the Caliph and the Corrupter. This episode is titled Wars and Rumors of Wars. War is horrific and catastrophic. May there be a way around it. Prophecy can be a way of viewing past events freshly from different angles in order to derive meaning and practical problem-solving methods for the current context. Sometimes it enables us to see what may manifest or is presently coming into view, and therefore to take preventative measures in a prophetic manner. We must see clearly in order to do so. Prophecy can be read many ways, and much within the eschatological realm is not as clear-cut and absolute as some might have us believe. Allah grants us opportunities to correct and prevent hellish outcomes. A perfect example is that of Nineveh, a tremendously vile and sinful city. When commanded to go to them and call them to repentance, Yunus alayhi salam runs from the call, and this can be read in a number of ways. Perhaps he did not feel capable of such a difficult and dangerous task as Assyrians would flay enemies and put hooks through their heads as punishment and humiliation. He also may not have thought the Assyrians were capable of repenting, or perhaps more darkly, he may even have welcomed or relished in the possibility of their utter destruction. Allah corrected that prophet and strengthened him for the challenge. How shocked and amazed he must have been when they repented, when they repented and Allah saved him from, from destruction. SubhanAllah. If we view the West as wicked, have we taken the required steps to remove the Dajjalic world from our hearts, from our pantries, from our medicine cabinets, and more? That is Hijra. All else is relocation. Have we called the people to Toba and Tazkiya, or are we Eunices? An example of prophecy as preventative is the story of the alliance with the Roman Christians, ending with conflict over pulling a cross down. This does not have to occur. And there are many ways around this, inshallah. Rereading prophecy through lenses of mercy, compassion, wisdom, and justice opens many opportunities to us to do things excellently and beautifully according to the way of the prophets alayhum salam i believe this is our responsibility and if not done tremendous sin is upon the ummah i do not mean what the da'is are doing but something considerably closer to the prophetic model this may be a new idea to you but i know the truth of it and encourage you to contemplate it Pray on it, and inshallah to act upon it. Time is short, and we must not be among the hypocrites, nor the sinful warmongers. Allahu alam. May we be purified and rightly guided. Until next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.